This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well. It's late February 2021. The latest version of the free Hercules mod is out. That is version 6.4. I will put the download link in the video description so you can go and download that if you want. There are three major changes we want to show. First, the primary implementation of the PFD, the primary flight display, and we'll look at that when we're in the air. Next is the introduction of waypoints into the kneeboard. And third, we now have the ability to carry and drop standard size bombs with manual release mode. So, first of all, waypoints. I'm not going to show you how to put the waypoints in. We've got a separate video how to do that, but they're in at the moment. Now I'm going to press right, shift and kilo to bring the kneeboard up. Then to cycle through the kneeboard, I'll quickly show you can do it via those commands there or these arrows down here. So if I shift it right there, you can see we are there. Waypoint 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are shown and they're sequenced. So I think you'll agree that's pretty cool. Okay. Now, addition to that, if we keep moving on, we have a navigation list. This is our waypoint list and it shows the northing and easting and altitude of each of our five waypoints plus our initial waypoint zero. Pretty cool. Next, we have a whole series of pages introducing the Hercules and showing you what to do. It's basically like a mini manual. It's actually pretty good. So you've got a bunch of ac acronyms there. Here you've got uh, checklist, pre-flight and power up, before starting engines, starting engines, navigation waypoints, before taxi, before takeoff, line up after takeoff, formation in trail geometry, those interested in that approach, before landing, engine run up, onload, offload, after landing, engine shut down, before leaving plane, combat entry, cabin altitude, airdrop numbers, drop preparation, run in, flap settings, release point, airdrop escape procedure, completion of drop, exit combat, and two types of combat offload. We've got videos on how to do this, but if you can't be bothered to watch them, you can just shortlist on here. Right shift and kilo to get rid of it. Next we're going to arm up with some unguided bombs. So if we go to our armament menu to add the bombs, pylons 1 to 4, right click bombs, a murrack with 6 arms mark 82s and these are slick uh, non-retarded. Is that right gaming? Yes. Roger. So that, my math says me correct, is 24. We will need a battle station to arm the bombs and whatnot. We can have it with or without TGP. TGP does not work anyway so just a battle station and arm up. Like I said, TGP doesn't work, so you kind of got to eyeball and play around and, and actually learn what altitudes and speed work best for you to drop it. Watch out. It's more like a carpet bomb, to be honest with you. All right, works for me. I wonder if the sea whizzes on uh, aircraft carriers could destroy the Moab. These bombs look so small on this Hurt Gaming, and they look like toy bombs. Look at that. It looks like it's not even carrying anything. It's so funny. That's 24 bombs, man. Oh, you'll feel it when you're trying to turn on the ground, so make sure you turn slow. Roger, turn slow. Okay. So we're going to go back to position three? Yeah. So press the three key to our battle station. Working from left to right, you're going to start top left where it says battle station control. Obviously, give it power. Done. Um, and then you're going to go down to the next panel below it. You're gonna um, depending on what pylon you want, so you got pylon one, two, three, and four. Green light means it's safe, and you click it, it turns red. It means it's armed. Can I uh, um, do all four of them? Yes, you can. I jump down, and then you're going to go to your right. Um, you're going to see weapon release control. Uh, you're going to flip up the red cover, flip that little switch up, and then bomb fuse select, and you're good to go. And now you would just push the weapon release button, which pickle, I guess you'd call it. Watch um, out. And I can do that as the pilot, yeah? Yep. When I press it, how many bombs are actually going to fall off? Uh, one from each pylon that you have selected. Roger. Sounds good. Right. And it stays selected until you unselect it. Roger. Gotcha. Okay, that all sounds nice and easy, guys. Uh, gaming, take us to the runway. Taxor second, cap third. Uh, I've set at waypoint six. Uh, a set of baddies for us to go and uh, ruin their day. Uh, full throttle. Full throttle. Brakes will not hold it anymore, by the way. Oh, how about that? So, release. Toga. Let's do it, boys. Oh, Tuxel, where the hell are you going? Did you get permission <laughs> to swerve all over the place in front of me? Now I've Did got to come off Toga. Did he say I'm going grass. Really, right. Tuxel? Really? Yes, yes. It's Unbelievable. Monday. Really doesn't deserve his big wage packet from GR, I can tell you that. 
There's a pool right there. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> By that I mean GR and GCS. There you go. Right, gaming, um, waypoint six, Plix. Plix. And you're going to have to give me some sort of guidance how I'm going to aim this as well. I know we've got no aiming right. method at the moment, so... I mean, you can you can either uh, kind of dive bomb it if you want, or Ooh, you can... That sounds sexy. Eye bomb it, eye bomb it, <laughs> eye bomb. So basically, at the moment, it's no different from dropping, uh, for instance, um, in a manual mode in a Hornet, or in normal mode in a Spitfire, you just got to eyeball it, right? I'm going to let you two go in first. Hey, I'm watching you gaming. Do great things. I always knew you do great things. Now I want to see you do great things. Oh! <laughs> yep, I'll give you that. Ah, uh, I've just missed. Everything atomizes. <laughs> hey, Tess, what's coming in? Sucks or two space! Send! Oh, he's done it good. He's done it good, boys. I'm going to show you how to do it properly in a minute, though. <laughs> Look at that. Tuxor. Oh, slightly over the end. Right. Now, you guys thought you knew how to do it. Watch this. She's a bit of a handful nowadays in this 6.4, mm. isn't she? She's yeah. not. She used to be a bit f 15 -y. Now she's a bit of a handful. Telling me something Bank about angle. Bank Angle, but Bank I don't know what. Bank Angle. That means you're Bank going a little too steep for its liking. Nah, fine. Right. Watch me in, boys. It's great. It's Here's where you make your dollar. And toss! Oh, look at me toss off my thumbs! <laughs> oh, I went long, guys. I went long. <laughs> okay. Maybe you still have two bombs per pylon. I'm going to show the new uh, PFD now and be serious for just a second. As you can see in front of us, that used to be fake. And now it's real! We have on the left our airspeed in knots. On the right we have our barometric altimeter in feet. Here we have our VSI. You can see how many thousands of feet per minute we're moving up or down in the air. Here is our ground speed in knots. Here is our G in G. Here is our, our magnetic compass heading uh, 027 at the moment. Here is our radar altimeter here, AGL, whereas that is obviously MSL. And here is our pressure currently in uh, inches mercury. That will be expanded on, but the basic function is all working at the moment. Anything you want to add to that gaming? That's it. Otherwise, thank you boys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you later.